Hello my sheep, I'm Rifushi and today I will be explaining my digital art process and how I currently draw. I noticed some people were interested in the comments and how I draw. So after this video, you should be able to draw exactly like me. Currently, I'm using Procreate on the iPad. I'm thinking of upgrading to a proper drawing monitor since I think it'll be better for my back. But for now, this setup is good enough. For my main brushes, I use a Sketch 5 2666 brush from Yuming that sort of looks like a crayon. I've never found a brush that I've gotten attached to until I found this one. So I recommend it if you also like the soft and sketchy texture. I don't know why, but it feels so satisfying to draw with that I feel motivated to draw even when I don't feel like drawing. For blush or soft gradients, I use the default Procreate brushes, hard airbrush and soft brush. For my art style, I've experimented with so many different methods of digital art and my art style has evolved a lot since I first started taking art seriously. Maybe one day I'll showcase and react to some of my old art if you're interested. It's sort of painful to look at, but it might also be fun to see how much I've grown over the years. But for now, I'd say I draw a lot of different styles, since I'm pretty indecisive and like trying new things, so I'm sort of an all-over-the-place kind of artist. I think I sort of have an art style, but to me, I still feel like I'm learning and things still feel a bit inconsistent. For the art in my videos, I have around four different styles that I switch between. I have Doodle Chibi Rifu, Emote Rifu, Standard Body Rifu, and the Thumbnail Detailed Style Rifu. For my normal art, I always take a long time to decide which colors work with each other. So for my videos, I have a set color palette so I don't have to think about which colors to use. Which actually does save a lot of time. Okay, so here's how I currently draw for my videos. It's pretty simple and I don't spend too much time on each panel. I usually start off with a sketch into line art and light coloring. For most of my sketches, I like to use a light pink color. Mostly because I like pink, but also because it's easy to ink over without being confused. I personally like it better, but maybe it doesn't really matter. It's pretty simple to draw a lot of chibi rifus, so I'll typically animate those and spend less time on each panel. For the more detailed ones, I'll spend more time on them, and these panels will have more screen time. My thumbnails are usually the most detailed, and I like using it in the video too. Not because I'm lazy and like recycling my art, but I also want people to appreciate the details in the thumbnail. Well, okay, well maybe I'm just lazy. After making a few videos now, my video art style feels sort of streamlined. The way I draw my videos have a certain low effort sketch style to them that I feel comfortable with and have fun with. I still wonder what else I can do to improve the visuals in my videos because I also feel like it could still be better, but I'm pretty happy with how the art in my videos have turned out so far. For my proper illustrations, I usually come up with ideas while I'm showering or laying down or reading something interesting. These days, the way I come up with artwork ideas is a vague idea will come into my mind and then I'll get really excited about it. Then I'll start sketching a small version with general shapes. I've seen other artists do this too, but personally, I like making multiple small sketches so I can experiment with different layouts and select one that I like the most. I like to think of it as the overall vibe or direction of the picture, since it helps me understand what I want the viewer to focus on. It sort of feels like the foundation of the artwork. While the sketch is pretty messy, it keeps me focused on the bigger picture of what I'm trying to convey in my artwork. Afterwards, I'll blow up the image and create a more defined sketch. When sketching, I'll also use references from one of my millions of curated arts reference albums, or I'll search up references on Pinterest. I only started using Pinterest for art recently, and I finally understood why all of my artist friends used it, since it gives really specific references, and a lot of them in different angles. I used to just sort of guess what something would look like based off of the Google images, but now I notice I can draw a lot more accurately while learning how things look. I highly recommend it if you're looking for any sort of visual inspiration or references. After the defined sketch, I'll continue with line art. 
There was a time where I followed an Ina art stream where she collapsed all of the layers together and started painting without line art. I wanted to try it since I thought it looked cool and gave it that cohesive painted look with one layer. I mean, that's how traditional artists do it, right? How hard could it be? But after that, I realized I hated it since I kept having to paint over things and it took forever. Or maybe I was just doing something really wrong. Then here comes my least favorite parts of the drawing process, coloring. Coloring is where I have to fight God just to finish the illustration. For coloring, I usually start off with the base color, then use a purple multiply layer to create shadows. Some artists like to fill the whole layer with purple and erase it to create the shadows, and some like to color in the shadows. For me, I just do whatever feels right at the moment. Then I'll use an overlay layer to create highlights, I think they're called highlights. Then I'll paint over the line art at the end to make the line art and color layer feel more cohesive. Some of my time lapses are so funny to look back on because I remember exactly where I felt so discouraged and thought that the artwork could never recover. I usually take a sad break and then I keep going and I'm like, damn, how did I turn that around? <laughs> but seriously, number one tip when you are feeling stuck, just take a break and think about something else. And when you come back feeling refreshed, sometimes it does click right away. For my proper artworks with the background, it's somewhat similar to my character artworks. I'll also start off with a messy sketch and blow it up and do a better sketch on top. Then I'll do the line art for the main characters and anything in the foreground. Right now, I'm pretty comfortable with drawing the sky and clouds for backgrounds, but not anything else. I really want to create believable worlds, like places you want to be transported to and live in. It's not that I want it super detailed, but I want it to have depth and feel grand. But so far, I feel like my art feels sort of contained to the paper and doesn't have the worldly feel to it. I've been reading Witch Hat Atelier recently, and their world building art is so good, it makes me want to do better as well. So I'll have to learn how to paint more buildings, weapons, creatures, animals, weird structures, caves, houses. There's so many cool things in this world, and in fantasy worlds too. Anyway, I do think I finally got into a point where I am pretty happy with my art. I feel like I can take the vague ideas in my head and put it on paper, and it feels fun. Sometimes I do get discouraged and frustrated with it, but I still think I am getting better each time. For now, I think I'll continue experimenting with random styles and finding out what I like. And maybe my style will evolve so much that this video isn't even accurate anymore. Here are some tips that have been helping me a lot with my art. Don't be afraid to restart your piece if you really hate it, or take a break when you're feeling discouraged. There's so many tools that I didn't realize Procreate had and that I never knew I needed. I won't go into all of them, but pretty much every time I was frustrated with something on Procreate, there was a setting to fix it, or a feature that helped a lot. Mess with the colors, hue, and saturation, and all of the weird features of your program. Also, if at any point the image starts to look weird or different from what you imagined, use Liquify. It will change your life. All of the features seem scary at first, or at least it seems scary for me, but once you use them, they will be your best friends. If you're just starting to draw or you're not sure about your art, I'd say to not beat yourself up if you're not happy with your art yet. What finally helped me have fun and find my art style was just drawing things I liked. Drawing along with other artists I liked, taking breaks, and not tying my self-worth to my work. Of course, not every part of drawing is super fun, just like with learning anything else. But if I'm always forcing myself to draw, then what's the point? These days, I'm trying to make sure that I'm first happy and healthy, and usually even better art will flow out of my brain. If you're an artist or any creative person, or just a person, I'll be wishing you the best on your journey. Until then, I'll continue to make art that I like, and maybe I'll be seeing your art one day.